Welcome to Friesen Electric's tutorial, Connecting a Variable Speed Drive for Basic Operation. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to get variable speed rotary force using a single phase power supply and basic controls. We'll use a 1725 RPM, one third horsepower, 240 volt, three phase motor, yes that's right, three phases, our SCM series variable speed drive, and an on and off single pull, single throw toggle switch. The first step will be to connect the three wires on the motor to the variable speed drive. Connect each of the wires to the terminal of the bottom side of the drive labeled U, V, and W. Second, connect one post from each end of the toggle switch to pins 1 and 11 on the control terminal board. That's up here. Third, connect your 120 volt single phase power source to the L1 and L2 terminals. Do not use the terminals labeled B negative and B positive. If you use these, it will destroy the circuitry in the drive. This problem is obviously not a warranty issue. Now we can supply power to the circuit and adjust the settings in the drive to our specification. When we first turn the drive on, three dashes will appear across the screen. Then flip the toggle switch. The LCD will start counting up while the motor starts to spin faster. The default speed for this drive is 20 Hz or 575 RPM. If you'd like to adjust this figure, simply press the up or down button on the face of the drive. Use the up, we can go up to 60 Hz for full speed. And we can go down. If you'd like to find out how to use more advanced up controls, you can read the manual that comes with your drive or see other tutorials. And if you don't see the instruction you need, let us know so that we can do one that applies to your situation.